Uh, my name is Karen White. I'm with Block, Black Leader Organizer for the Community, and we're out here talking about the election and seeing what can we make our community thrive better, what what it takes. Before going out on their six-hour shift, Block ambassadors have a meeting where they discuss the most recent news, fuel up on healthy snacks, and work on skits to prepare for handling people who come to the door. Who is it? Hi, is Jaquana there? Who? Jaquana. Uh, <laughs> Today, they are recognizing their ambassador of the week. We look for those who um, come to work, who's always focused, motivated, um, who gets the job done, who knows what they're saying on doors, um, who just general overall um, is what an ambassador, what we look for. So with that being said, the ambassador of the week that we went with is Kyron. After the meeting, they get their teams, find out where they're campaigning, and are out the door. No, I Google everything anyway. It's off Green Bay. All y'all got Nike for Ready to go? Okay. Let me get this started. In Kyron's group, there's Dre and Javadka. Um, actually, I was canvassed. And I asked them about the work and stuff like that because I kind of like what they're doing also. So I was like, where can I get hired at? They gave an address, so I came down to see about it. And I've been working now with them about, about almost three weeks now. And I, I believe in what we're doing also. You know, and I want to see a change. You know, I like to express myself, to, you know, show them what I care for them and, what, you know, stuff like that. Like most people, when they see seen us out here and stuff, they like, you know, man, that's, that's pretty awesome to see a young black man out there, you know, pushing and trying to get people to go out there and vote. And I said, yeah. Well, actually, a friend of mine named Mike, she, he Latoya nephew, he told me about it, told me about what they were doing and the group. And the, and the name, it stuck with me, Black Leaders Organizer for the Community. And I want to get back to my community because this is where I'm from. I'm from Milwaukee, born and raised. These is my people, as I say. Like, I got kids too, and I want to see something better for my kids that we ain't got. Cause right now our life is hell. I think we don't talk a lot about as a state that Wisconsin is the worst place to raise a black child. Um, I'm almost 30, and I can't even begin to think about having kids because I feel that like I don't want to bring them into a society and into you know a state where they're automatically going to be criminalized. And so making sure that you have representatives that are acknowledging that Wisconsin is the worst place to raise a black child. You have representatives that are acknowledging that we are home to the most incarcerated zip code in the world and actually putting policies and procedures behind it to change that. Oh, that's me. That's my brother who passed away. That's my old, one of my older brothers. I look at him and see inspiration, you know, and determination for me to do better. Cause he was actually my role model. He was a year older than me. And he was actually the one living a good life while I was the kid messing up. And you see, they say God work in mysterious ways. And so I was just pushing to thrive, you know. Kyron pulls up to his first door of the day. We actually got a script, like as you can see in this tablet. We got a script that we can go off of if nobody know it or, you know, they ask you to put it in your own words so you can feel comfortable saying it. That's what I do. But like a lot of these people in these households, they don't like coming to the door. Cause they be like, man, is it somebody that wants something? Yeah, that's the feeling they shouldn't have. Cause they don't know what you out here trying to do. Even if you're trying to better your community or what. Half of the time they don't even care. Not only does Kyron talk to the people he's assigned, but he reaches out to anybody he comes across randomly on the street, like this Greenleaf worker. You know, the okay. election November 6th. Tell all your people, get out there and vote. All right, I'm going to mass today, man. All right, thank you. See all you right, out there. Have a nice day. Bye. Unfortunately for me, I can't vote because I'm still on probation. But for those people who are off probation or even a felon, as long as you're off probation, you, already, you can always go vote. We've seen people that only knock on doors of regular voters 
and we leave all of these folks behind. And so what does it look like to actually bring in new voters or people that are um, off paper that weren't talked to in the last ele election cycle? We want to be able to broaden our idea of what civic engagement is and that if you can't vote because you're undocumented or you're on paper, there's still a place for you in this political system and that everybody um, has a say in this political process despite like your voting status and if you are actually eligible to vote. I want to show people that who I am, like I'm a black young man with a, with a history, with a criminal record. And I feel that if they see me out here wanting to do better, they'll take the people, the same people in my shoes and make them want to do better. You know, so that's why I'm out here every day. Rain, snow, sunshine, I'm going to be here no matter what. This election, next election, the election after there, even in 2025, 2035, I'm going to still be here because I believe in what we're doing. And we're going to keep doing it until the end of the day, you know? That's all I got to say.